Hi folks, it's Steve Grono again um, uh, from Chestnut Real Estate and Chestnut Home Builders. I am uh, supportive of the Howell Building Trades and the Howell Education Foundation here in Howell, Michigan. I'll, see, I'll show you the sign over here. This is uh, Howell Construction Trades program. We're at Parker Middle School where they, where they teach this program right over here. And uh, as you can see, I'm over there, Chestnut Development. That's one of my companies. I support this endeavor to bring young people into the construction industry, which we need many more of. <laughs> and uh, we've got our instructor over here actually finishing up some painting on the, on the, on the left side of the, ca on the cabin. So we'll, uh, we might meet him too. Uh, anyway, this is called the Cedar. Uh, this is 10 feet wide. It's 24 feet long, so it's 240 square feet. This one does not have a covered porch, but it does have a, a pretty good overhang here, about a 20 inch overhang. The one I just filmed was called the, uh, the cabin. It has a, a 36 inch overhang right there. This one doesn't have the overhang, uh, the, the, the covered porch, but it has a bigger interior. So they all have different, different aspects to them. Um, this is all cedar on the outside, so you're gonna, it's all stained cedar, and everybody knows how, how well that holds up. Cedar's great stuff. Has a metal roof on it, good quality windows, and uh, these windows are all gonna come with uh, screens and so forth. This little elevated platform is an option if you want. It's 36 inches tall. Costs us a bunch of money for all that lumber and time to put it together, so it's, it's really about a two grand upgrade if you want it right there. Also, the jacks will throw in, those little jacks underneath will throw in. So if you want to put it elevated, you've got an option to do that. Uh, coming down this side up top here, you're going to see the furnace outlet right there. That's an RV style furnace, propane. So it's an intake and exhaust and a service panel right up there with the vent for the bath right next to it there. Around the back, We've got a window, which is in the bedroom area. So your master bedroom in the back has a window here and a window here. Living room up front has a window up there. Uh, there's a, this is where your power is gonna come in right here. This is a 50 amp uh, box where you can bring in your 50 amp service right there. Typical of an RV. On the left side right here, you've got another window that enters the master. Then, then this uh, cedar comes down, and then we have an AZAC panel here, which we're just getting, we're painting it, we're just finishing it right now. You can see this thing is just in the last day of finishing it, so we wanted to get it online for you, though. Uh, this is all going to be painted with this dark gray, a couple of coats with some nice bead of clear, I'm sorry, bead of white caulk around each window, so it's going to look awesome. Okay, so let's go inside, and I'll talk about the interior. Oh, by the way, the rough plumbing underneath, uh, everything is all rough plumbed coming through the floors. By the way, this entire floor is insulated with closed cell foam. It's a double bond, so you don't have any problems down there. It's going to be nice and dry and quiet and uh, warm for you. And we can complete the rough plumbing to a single outlet if we know your layout. If we don't, you can do it yourself. Not a big deal. But it's all plumbed through the floor, so you can connect and hook it on the way you want. You've got an exterior 120 volt plug right there. Steel Thermatru door, Schlage locks. Good quality stuff. What I'm going to do inside. Let's kind of just give you a general view around so you can kind of see what it looks like and then I'll I'll get it in a little more detail for you so that you can get a better idea how this rig lays out these tiny cabins I'm just really impressed with this uh, these young people and this instructor do a fantastic job you couldn't pay them to do a, as nice a job pay anybody as do as nice a job as these guys do they really have a lot of pride in what they do here in Howell okay uh, interior it's a shiplap interior uh, we've trimmed and cased all the, all the windows with jam extensions and painted trim and mantles. Uh, you have a custom-made upholstered L-shaped bench around this corner for your dining. Right here at your table, you can seat a couple, three, four people there. Pull up a chair here. you got these chairs right here. you got a chair here and a chair here. You can pull one of them up over there. And underneath these uh, benches, you have storage. There's the thing. You, you pull it up. This storage area underneath each one is a flip-up lid. It's 24 inches deep, about 16 inches wide, 48 long, and there's two of those spaces underneath right there. Uh, coming around the right side again, here's your fridge. This is a hair fridge. It's a good quality brand. Uh, this fridge has a freezer up top, which is approximately 22 inches wide, 22 inches deep by 22 inches tall. It has two shelves, two levels. In the door also has two levels of storage. The lower part of the fridge... Everything you see in this video comes with it, by the way. Pillows, decor, knickknacks, doodads, light fixtures, all the little things that you see in this video will, are included in the price of this rig. It all goes just like you see it. Uh, the, the fridge, uh, 24 wide, 25 wide, 
24 deep by about 38 to 42 tall, and there's one, two, three, four shelves, plus one, two in the door. Coming around to the countertop area, food prep area, these are laminate style countertops, really nice, like a Corian. Uh, GFI plugs there, there, and there. Uh, up above this section of the countertop, you have this cool little pipe uh, shelving unit. There's one, two, three shelves there. They're about uh, 12 deep, about 22 wide, about 10 high, one, two, three levels. Uh, everything you see there comes with it again. Here's the pull-out drawer. This drawer is about three inches tall, silverware type drawer. It's about 22 inches wide, 22 inches deep, has an oil rub bronze uh, hardware on it. Underneath, big space, at least 24 to 25 deep, uh, 24 wide and about 26 tall with a shelf in the back. Coming over to the right, here's your other shelf. This is probably a trash can area. It's about 24 by 24 by 22, has a little plumbing in the middle. 20 gallon electric hot water tank right in there with brass uh, plumbing and PEX. Overmount stainless sink, oil rub bronze fixture with a pull out, little soap dispenser. Plug in the back, four inch backsplash all the way around. Coming above this, you have your cabinets. This cabinet is triangular. The deepest part's about 22 to 24 deep. It's about 24 wide, about 10 inch spacing. One, two, three of those. Then this larger one here, this one, about 12 to 14 deep, uh, 10 inch spacing high by about 26 wide. One, two, three of those. It's a cool little pipe clock on the wall there, comes with a deal. Here's your stove, four burner propane gas cooktop with an oven underneath right here. This oven's pretty big, about 24 by 24 by 24 with uh, one, two, three shelves. And then there's a broiler, or a broiler right down here in the bottom, all stainless, good quality stuff. And that's kind of a, a quick view of your kitchen, of your galley area. Plenty of room for making your food and stuff there. Two little chairs here and this little rug, little table comes with. All the windows let a ton of light in. There's one, two, three, all of those open. Then there's one, two, three above, and all of those open. Then you have your front window here that also opens, so plenty of uh, light and so forth comes into this main living area. Little picture on the wall here on the, on the uh, left side. Two LED lights in this section right here. Cedar tongue and groove ceiling in this rig. Uh, this is kind of a little vanity makeup area. It's kind of cool. Um, it's got this shelf here, this, or this countertop. This countertop's about, oh, about 16 inches deep by about 32 inches wide. Then underneath it, you have more cabinets right here, more storage. So there's, uh, again, about 32 by overall about 30. And uh, one, two, three shelves in there. Light switches here, a little mirror. Above here, we have more storage. You've got to find storage everywhere you can in tiny cabins, as everybody knows, and there's plenty of it in this one. This one goes back about uh, 12 to 14 deep, about 36 wide, and it's about 12 tall with two doors on it right there. And then here is the door to your main bath right there. It's a six panel door, solid core, nice heavy door. And here's your toilet. It's a household style toilet. Um, you have a, a little medicine cabinet above that with a towel bar. You have two towel hooks on this side with cu these custom little towels. Toilet paper dispenser right there. Cool little painting on the wall. Light with a vent that goes outside right there. Full uh, step in one piece fiberglass shower with uh, ORB fittings and it comes of course with the shower curtain and so forth. A lot of little goodies with this cabin. You add it all up, it's a lot of money. Here's a little cabinet, I'm uh, sorry, your vanity for your sink. It's about eh, 18 wide by 16 deep. Uh, rectangular with ORB and then underneath it. You have a cabinet here that's 12 deep by 15 or 16 wide by about 32 tall. A little plumbing in the center there. Uh, shiplap, a towel ring, and a mirror. LED light. And that kind of makes up your main bath area. So all you need. Okay, there's your thermostat for your furnace. Coming back into the master bedroom now. This master bedroom has a big full-size bed. Uh, about six and a half feet long by about five feet wide. It has storage underneath with the two baskets. There's a plug over here on this side. Again, the decor, pillows, paintings, knickknacks, the little table shelf there, all comes with it. All this stuff over here. More storage up top right there. That's about um, 14 tall by about 28 wide. It's, it's deep, it's about 12 or 14 inches deep. And so here's your sleeping area. You can open these windows. You have air conditioning, of course, also that comes standard with 
these rigs. This one, I might have misspoke. This one, I don't think has air conditioning, only heat. So the first one, uh, same thing, air con uh, heat, no air. Heat, no air. So make sure, make sure I'm clear on that. Our next one does have air conditioning. So I'll show you that in a minute. Hopefully that answers most of your questions. It's an LVT floor. Uh, in, this cabin is super, super insulated. As I said, closed cell foam on the walls, ceiling and floor, subfloor, all done in closed cell, three quarter inch tongue and groove plywood floor with a double bottom. So you're not gonna have any problems with quality on this cabin. Uh, if you wanna give me a call, I'll give you any other details. I probably forgot some things. My number's 810-599-5147. Again, my name is Steve Grono. You can check me out at Chestnut Home Builders in Howell, Michigan. And I'll be happy to tell you more about this cabin. We can arrange for transportation, or you can do that on your own. Thanks so much. Hope that was helpful.